Hey everybody, it's Mike DeShazer here in Seoul, South Korea at ProofSuite and today we're going to talk about how to actually execute an arbitrage trade with borrowed money. So in the last video we talked about how to actually borrow money from a lending pool like Aave uh, but today we're going to take that money, borrow it and then we're going to actually execute some trades in between there before we return the money. So let's take a look. All right, so in this video, what we're gonna do is show how to do uh, arbitrage using the Orfeed smart contract. So this is the Orfeed smart contract where you can obviously get data on you know various price prices uh, in like on Kyber, Uniswap, Bancor, et cetera. Uh, what we'll be talking about in this video is actually how to call uh, something called the ARB function. So as you can see here, I'm calling the ARB function and uh, I'm done performing arbitrage. I'm telling where uh, the funds will be returned to. I'm saying who the liquidity provider is. In this case, it'll be us after we get our flash loan. And then uh, I put a string of tokens that I want to exchange between. So we'll go between DAI to WETH uh, and then back to SAI, uh, for example. Uh, and then uh, the amount. Uh, and after that, we'll put the the series of exchanges. So uh, right now we have Kyber, Uniswap, and Bancor. Um, so if you go over here to the flash loan with ARB, you'll see down here uh, that you can call that within. So if you looked at the last video that we posted, we showed kind of how to get a flash loan from Aave. Uh, and then um, we had a bunch of dummy code in there, but now you can just kind of copy this code. You could say, call uh, initiate the or feed contract, um, which you can actually do this outside of the function, but we put this down here so you could see what changed. And then you'll just set the token order and the exchange order. So die with Psy, and then you can put all the exchange that you would like. Then you call or feed dot arb. Um, so uh, that's essentially what that looks like. And then, um, yeah, then you transfer the tokens that you borrowed back to Aave and uh, your smart contract will then keep the rest of the funds. So it's really that simple, but for the rest of this video, what I'll talk about is how to actually just test the ARB function just by itself outside of the flash loan uh, c contract code. So if you wanted to do this directly you know, from your uh, address, here is how you would do that. The first thing that you're gonna need to do is go over to whatever token you're starting with. So for example, in this example, we're using DAI. You'll need to go to the uh, Etherscan um, you know, token address uh, go to the right contract and make sure to approve the Orfeed smart contract because uh, the Orfeed smart contract will basically be taking your tokens and then performing the arbitrage and then returning those tokens back to whatever address uh, you specify. So what you'll do is you'll put like 22 zeros in here. Uh, so this is enough die uh, to approve. You'll click connect to Web3 uh, and uh, I'll leave this uh, address here. Um, so this is version one, or the, rather the alpha version of Orfeed. Uh, in the future, you might need to update this, uh, but this contract should still work uh, no matter what. I'll click right, uh, and then here, uh, I'll just need to approve that. So I'll set the gas fee a little higher, um, just because uh, for the video purposes, we want it to go through quite quickly. And so now what I'll go uh, over and do is, uh, I'll go to my remix editor, and you could use whatever editor that you look, you know, that you want to use. Uh, for some reason, this doesn't work uh, if you use the Etherscan uh, write contract function, uh, and that's just because of how they deal with uh, arrays, string arrays, and numerical arrays. They do a little bit of, uh, they they edit them a bit uh, with their Web three, and so um, I. Anyways, for this example, I'll actually be de uh, I'll be using the Orphe contract, which you can see online by going to our GitHub. One big note that I'll make here is that um, when you're uh, if you're going to go the remix route for testing this out before you put it into your contract, make sure to put the at address uh, of the actual live or feed contract. Uh, if you deploy it to a new contract, uh, it might not work just because there are dynamic variables uh, that are um, updated. So essentially, I'm sending over this. I'm saying that the liquidity provider is me, um, and I'm also saying that um, I'm, I want to receive the tokens back at the end, the address. Uh, and then I'll put, uh, I'm gonna go from die to weth to psi. I'll use this much die, which is a fraction of a, of a penny, uh, but you can put as many you know zeros there as how much die that you want to use. Uh, and then you'll put the number, the, the exchange that you want to uh, use. So I'll switch this up. So this is Kyber to Kyber to Kyber. I'll say, let's go from Kyber to Uniswap. 
uh, back to Kyber. So I'll copy this. Next thing, uh, you'll need to make sure that the address that you're using actually has some die. I'll just paste that in here. So I'm going Kyber to Uniswap back to Kyber. I'm starting with uh, die. I'll click ARB. Um, it'll set the gas fee that it thinks it'll take. Uh, in this case, it'll be 16, which will be really high. I recommend only doing this really when the gas is low, especially for ARB, because uh, you want the cost of your gas to, to be pretty low. Um, for the purposes of this, I'll just speed that up a bit. Uh, so that, that uh, transaction has been confirmed, and as you can see here, uh, we did some trades between Kyber and then to Uniswap, etc. cetera. Um, die to Weth to Psy. Um, and uh, that's essentially that. And then the funds are, you know, returned uh, back to us. You can see that last transaction. Uh, that's my address right there. Essentially, you can uh, try that out. That's an uh, easy way to perform arbitrage. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this is helpful.